Hey everyone, what's been going on in the world this week? Well, I could tell you about my addiction to reading books, but that's another story, get it? What has been going on is a round of votes to decide who the next leader of the Conservative Party will be and therefore the new Prime Minister. The post is actually held by Theresa May still, who's about as proactive in the legislative process these days as she's been for the past two years. In the past week alone, she managed to pass three times as many Brexit bills as she did last month, because three multiplied by zero is still zero. Anyway, the new PM, that choice has been whittled down by MPs from a pool of narcissistic attention seekers to Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt, both of whom have been eyeing the job for years, although for those who are not members of the Conservative Party, never mind members of Parliament, the past few weeks must have been similar to an American watching the Cricket World Cup, but with Radio 4 rather than the dulcet tones of Test Match Special. The two candidates will now be looking forward to yet more posturing as they make their final pitch to the Conservative membership, and if you are one of the lucky ones, then I suppose you'll be receiving your polling literature with the mail, or the Telegraph, or the Sainsbury Shareholder magazine. Either way, make sure that if you're voting for Jeremy, spell his name correctly this time, because he's had problems with that in the past. Once the win has been announced, then the tradition holds that the Queen will ask that person to travel to Buckingham Palace and form a government. The new Prime Minister will later sit at the table with the most powerful woman in the realm, Arlene Foster, the DUP, at which point we either have Boris delivering Brexit or Jeremy Hunt wasting 12 months on a renegotiation, even though we already know it will be about as productive as a liberal arts student using music to prove that squares have three sides. Call me cynical. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, please subscribe.